Hello everybody and welcome to the video notes for unit 5, day 8. Today's lesson is about finding the median. Today's video is dedicated to Nelson in 6a. Hi Nelson. I hope you had a good spring break. Uh, over the spring break I did catch a little bit of a cold so I apologize if I cough at all during this video. So bear with me. The median in math Right, median kind of sounds like middle, because in math, the median is the middle number. So to find the median among a set of numbers, there are two things you have to do. The first thing that you have to do is list the numbers. from least to greatest and then find the number in the middle. Okay, got that? So the first step is list the numbers from least to greatest, from lowest to largest, and then find the number in the middle. Here's what that looks like. In number one, it says to find the median among the numbers 2, 5, 4, 3, and 9. So step number one is to list the numbers from least to greatest. Let's do that now. The lowest number is 2. Okay, so we'll write a 2. And then after 2, the next number is going to be a 3. So we have a 3, and then a 4, and then a 5, and then a 9. They're the largest. So I've taken these numbers, and now they're in least to greatest. And then step number 2 says to find the number that is in the middle. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. So th the third number is going to be right in the middle. So 4 is the median. So the median is 4. How many numbers are less than the median? Well, there's f the median is 4. 2 and 3 are less than 4. So there are two numbers that are less than the median. Two numbers. How many numbers are more than the median? That would be the numbers 5 and 9. So there are also two numbers that are greater than the median. If you found it correctly, the, num the number of numbers that are less than the median should be the same as the number of numbers that are greater than the median. So two less than, and then also two more than. That's how you know it's right in the middle. All right, now that we've done this one together, what I want you to do is to pause and try number four on your own. And when you are done with number four, sorry, number four, five, and six, these three. When you're done with these three, resume the video and then you can check your work. So pausing and trying those. <coughs> now you are resuming the video to check your work. Here are numbers. The first step is to list them from least to greatest, so let's do that. The lowest is 6, and then after 6 would be 13, and then 15, and then 17, and then 22, and then 29, and then 44. All right. Step two, then, is to find the number that is right in the middle. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So the middle number would be the fourth winner. <coughs> so 17 is the median, right in the middle. 
How many numbers are less than the median? That's these three numbers. So there are three. <coughs> Sorry, guys. How many numbers are more than the median? It's these three. So there's three numbers more. Okay, now let's look at the second part. At restaurant A, the manager says that an order of a large bag of french fries typically includes 82 french fries. Mr. Yen then orders multiple large bags of french fries, counts how many there are in each bag, and puts the results in the dot plot below. So I ordered a whole bunch of bags of french fries, and depending on how many were in each bag, I put it on the dot plot right here. So then, what I want you to do is, the rest of this here, the rest of these, you should be able to answer 1 through 6 now, based off of what we learned right here, on your own. So I'm going to have you pause, and then try 1 through 6 on your own first, and then when you are done, you can resume the video to check your work. And now you're resuming the video to check your work. Remember, if you're not trying on your own, you're not challenging yourself to learn. All right, so you just bought a bag, and then do you think there will be exactly 82 french fries? Well, as you can see, one bag had 82, but all of these other bags did not have 82. So I don't think you can expect to have exactly 82. So no, because most bags do not have 82. They usually have more or, 80, or less than 82. How many bags did Mr. Yen include in this sample? So for this, what you have to do is you have to count how many dots there are. That's how many bags there were. So let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There are 21 bags, that's why there's 21 dots in this graph. So how many bags had fewer than 82? So 82 is right here. So all the bags that had fewer than 82 would be all of these. We can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. How many had more than 82? That's everything on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Also 10. Okay. With this information, you should, even if you didn't finish this part, you should be able to finish this part now. And this is what I'm going to check for, for you to get your ticket today, the rest of this. The secret word today, uh, very suitingly, is fries. F-R-I-E-S. The secret word is fries. So write that in, finish the rest of this, raise your hand, and then you can get your ticket.